Hello and welcome to Rathod's IS. Today in this session, we are going to see current affairs of 26th November 2023. So first of all, we are going to take PDF of Hindu and we are going to pick out the articles which are relevant from our examination point of view. And after that, we are going to see in how many dimensions we can think about that topic so that we can get perspectives. So this perspectives will help to develop thought process because nowadays in mains, UPS is not asking a question from single dimension. It is asking question by interlinking two or three subjects. So if you want to answer those questions and if you want to clear means, yes, you have to interconnect the things and that thing you are going to learn from this news analysis. And if you are watching this Rathor Sai's news analysis daily, so watch daily. So if you are watching any other news analysis, so follow the single source. Okay, because if at all I am skipping the topic today, so that may appear in editorial tomorrow. So I will be covering that topic tomorrow. So I know that which topics I am covering and which topics I am not covering. So that if there is any opportunity that I am getting, then I will be covering each and everything in detail. Okay, so now let us see the front page of Delhi edition of Hindu. And the first article is Rajasthan record 71.64 turnout in peaceful polling. So this article says that yesterday in Rajasthan elections done. And polling rate is 71.64 percentage they went and they used their right to vote. So here you have to know about what is this right to vote and which amendment act that decreased the age of right for voting. And already this right to vote already uh, the question came regarding the topic in your prelims. That whether it is a constitutional right or whether it is a legal right. So from that point of view, you have to see this article. Okay, and you have to see what are the reasons for less turnout. Okay, less turnover. So why? Okay, turnout is 71.64. Why? What are the reasons for this? So why? What happened to other 29% of people? So why they didn't use their right to vote? So please let me know your answer in the comment box. So what you are thinking? And that's all. There is nothing much important in our front page today. And today is Sunday. So Sunday paper is useful to cover science and technology and environment and ecology related current affairs. So please don't skip this Sunday's newspaper for sure. And the states page also most of the articles are political articles. So today it will be not taking more than 35 to 40 minutes of time to cover this Sunday's newspaper. Okay, so please be focused. Only the two to three concepts which are new in our today's newspaper. That's it. So in this page you can see get a flight like feel. Get a flight like feel on one day bar the trains soon. So here you have to know about what is this one day bar the trains. Okay, so here you can get a prelims based question and even you can get a means based question from this railways. And next one actually this article talking about Yatri Seva Anubandhan. Yatri Seva Anuban, that is YSA. So it is a boiler project which is going to come up by Southern Railways. So this is a boiler project which is going to come up by Southern Railways. So if you are preparing for other competitive examinations, here you can expect a question like, so recently this boiler project of Yatri Seva Anuban. So which is came up by which railways like Northern Railways or Eastern Railways or Northeastern Railways, Western Railways, Southern Railways. So answer for this question is Southern Railways. So here you have to see what is this pilot project of Yatri Seva Anubhant. So which areas you are focusing. So that is important from your GS paper 3 under economy point of view. 
clear and now let us move on so next topic it is about kambala so already we discussed about this kambala in our earlier class but even though yes we have to see this so a coastal flavor kambala makes a splash in bangalore so here you have to focus on keyword that is kambala so if you see this image you can understand it is a bull taming race it is a bull taming so here there are two bulls so if there is one bull it is called as jelly kattu if there is one bull it is called as jelly kattu and if there are two bulls it is called as kambala so this kambala which became famous because of movie called as kantara okay and now let us see the next topic it is about india italian firms indian and italian firms to set up joint venture in tamil nadu defense corridor so here we have to focus on what is this defense corridor so keyword is here what is this defense corridor that means exactly meaning of defense corridor and what are the objectives of defense corridor okay so these are the very very important things from our economy point of view and even you can also see this topic from international relations point of view that is relationship between india and italy and from italy you can also expect a map based question so you have to see which are the countries which are the countries sharing boundary with this italy okay so that's it and if you move on so in this news page page number 8 you can see one article that is about aditya l1 so aditya l1 it is solar mission right it is a mission to study sun so aditya mission okay aditya l1 may enter orbit on january 7th so actually the target here is we have to send this aditya project on to l1 that is langrage point 1 and it is going to reach its orbit on january 7th so we have to wait and watch whether it will be going safely or not and this topic is important from your science and technology which comes under your gs paper 3 and there is a high chance of getting question regarding the missions of isro So, if any mission of ISRO is in use, or any mission of NASA or European Space Agency, JAXA, and Chinese Space Agency or Russian Space Agency, Roscosmos, or C in use, then you can expect a question. This is one of the favorite area of UPSC. And if you move on, leave this assembly post. It is not at all useful. and in this world page also most of the articles they are repeated articles and we had enough discussion on those topics earlier and in this science page i found this article which is very much relevant so recently recently because of images that we got from satellites we found antarctica's ozone hole again so there is a major hole over antarctica that is ozone hole or we can talk about ozone depletion again okay so we have to see what are the reasons for this antarctica's ozone hole and what is this ozone and where it is present so i think you have said about different layers of atmosphere right so for example this is at the surface so we have troposphere this will be our troposphere we have stratosphere above this we have mesosphere and above this we have ionosphere or thermosphere so here we have ozone so what is the formula of ozone so we have three mol uh, three atoms of ozone or oxygen is called as ozone that is o3 so this ozone in which layers we can see so ozone is present in troposphere and as well as in the stratosphere so ozone which is present in the stratosphere is considered as good ozone because it will be absorbing uv rays that are coming from the sun 
so that it will not allow this UV rays to fall on the earth surface. But the same ozone which is present in the troposphere is called as a pollutant. So it is not good. If ozone is present in the troposphere, it is not good. So what is the issue here is, so in the stratosphere, we will be having this ozone layer. What happened because of vehicular emissions, because of this chlorofluorocarbons? What are they? Chlorofluorocarbons. So because of this chlorofluorocarbons, they will be reacting with ozone. And what happens? So these are nothing but we can say they are free radicals. And this ozone will be depleted into O2 plus oxygen free radical. Okay, O2 plus oxygen free radical which is happening whenever this chlorines. Okay, whenever this chlorine which is reacting with oxygen, sorry ozone. Okay, so whenever this chlorine which is reacting with ozone that will lead to the formation of oxygen and as well as oxygen free radical. So in this way the depleting of ozone which happens. So what happens if there is depletion of ozone? So what will be the impact? So there will be the entry of UV rays onto the earth surface. So it will be causing harm to the entire life. And if this UV rays are falling on your skin, you will be getting skin cancer. Okay, so there are a lot of health impacts if there is loss of ozone layer. So we have to see this topic at most and this topic is important from your geography and as well as from your environment and ecology point of view. And even we are using different technology to identify this ozone layer, right? So even we can connect this topic with our science and technology because we understood like there is major ozone hole which created over Antarctica by using satellite images. Okay, so here you can understand like what are the applications of satellites? So one of the application here is we can get images and we can identify if there is any ozone hole is there or not. So why this ozone hole in Antarctica only? So I want to say one interesting thing. So do you know the pressure bells? So let us take this globe. This is zero degrees. So zero degrees will be our equator. Yes or no? Zero degree latitude is called as equator and here we have 23 and 22 and half degrees south and here we have 66 and half degrees south. Here we have 22 and half degree north. Here we have 66 and half degree north and here 90 degrees north is our north pole and here 90 degrees south is called as our south pole. So here at equator we have normally if you see this is sun. So this is our sun. So from sun we will be having rays. So because of this vertical rays which is falling on equator, normally we can see high temperature. So if you are dividing entire globe into seven pressure belts, so we will be having low pressure here, high pressure here, low pressure here and high pressure here. That means we are having seven pressure belts, alternatively low pressure and high pressure. So now let us take the condition what happens at the low pressure. So low pressure means nothing but we will be having high temperature there. So because of this ascending of winds happen and after ascending they will be coming back at this high pressure regions. So because of this we will be having three, sir, three, three cells, Hadley cell, here also we have Feral cell, okay, and as well as polar cell, right? So here at this 66 and half degree north and 66 and half degree south, we will be having low pressure. So because of this low pressure, what happened? We will be having ascending winds. So because of this ascending winds here, so whenever they are carrying this uh, uh, chlorine, okay, okay, chlorofluorocarbons in the atmosphere, that will cause this depletion of ozone. I hope you understand this concept. So there is a lot of concept which is involved to understand this mechanism of ozone hole formation. So here this is very important article and apart from that here you can see one article like so 3 HP TB preventive drug. So 8 months on states wait for 3 HP TB preventive drug. So here you have to focus on what is this TB that is tuberculosis which is caused by bacteria. 
so which is that bacteria microbacterium tuberculosis okay microbacterium tuberculosis so one important concern one important concern regarding this tb treatment so what is the concern regarding this tb treatment so here we have to <coughs> take minimum of we have to take minimum of 6 months of antibiotic so it should be based on so the treatment is based on antibiotic regime so in this tb we will be having first and second okay first primary antibiotics and secondary antibiotics so for example we have isoniazid rifampicin like that so here the problem here is because of this lengthy antibiotic treatment so we have to take every day so if you're not if you're stopping in middle because of subsiding of symptoms again we will be getting resistance okay that is a one major cause for antibiotic resistance that to multi-drug resistance in this tb patients so here we are trying that so this treatment regime should be small and we need effective antibiotics to treat this TB. So, we have first line drugs and second line drugs. So, if there is any, uh, if, uh, any antibiotic resistance is seen, we have to go for shifting of another antibody. We have to move towards prescribing of another antibiotic. Okay. So, here you have to know about what is this TB and what is the incubation period and which organism is causing this TB and what is the treatment regime and even you can focus on what is this antibiotic resistance and what is this multiple drug resistance all these things are very very important and those are very important and relevant articles from our examination point of view from science page and here you can see a small article higher bmi associated with increased cancer risk that is basal metabolic index so you can use different apps to find your bmi so based on your height and weight so if your bmi is high then you are at a high risk of getting cancer so try to maintain your weight okay that to healthy weight so these are the very important topics that appeared and we have to see these topics in detail and let us see the notes so this is our notes the first article it is about India and Italy relations. So here we are focusing on Tamil Nadu defense corridor. So what is the meaning of this defense corridor? So here context says that Indian firm that is Merlink Aerospace Private Limited which signed a joint venture agreement with Italy's Vega Composites to establish a manufacturing and design facility in Tamil Nadu defense corridor. So they want to come up with manufacturing and as well as defense facility in this Tamil Nadu defense corridor for advanced composite material based products. So to get some advanced composite material based products, yes, we are going to come up with this, with this agreement. And actually, so this venture which is focusing on tapping the growing market of India. So we have to tap the market of India. And we have to focus on developing design expertise and we have to transfer manufacturing know-how to India. And especially we are focusing on increasing of demand for the products like aerospace, marine, land and driveway sector. So in this sector, there is increased demand for the product. So we are going to produce them within India. And even, even we are also targeting on upcoming hydrogen storage and fuel cell markets. So we are also targeting on hydrogen storage and fuel cell markets and this joint venture is first such agreement. So we are signing this agreement between India and Italy and it is a first agreement. And we came up with signing of this defense cooperation agreement that is between which and which countries that is Italy and India. So if you are talking about what is the meaning of defense industrial corridor. So actually it is a dedicated region and we are focusing on promoting indigenous production of defense and aerospace related items. So we are promoting indigenous production of defense and aerospace related items. 
and since india is one of the key defense market driven by increasing spending the capital expenditure for defense procurement is expected around us dollars 200 to 250 billion over next 10 years and making india has been the government's cornerstone to promote indigenous defense production in the country so what is the meaning of this defense okay corridor so we are going for planning of promoting indigenous production so we are focusing on production of our defense equipments and as well as equipments which are necessary for our aerospace industry and especially we are focusing on increased spending capital expenditure on production of indigenous products and especially we are focusing on our make in india program so this make in india program is focusing on indigenous production of defense equipments and what are the objectives of this defense industrial corridor the first one is we have to focus on economic growth of states so whenever we are going with this or coming up with this type of corridors especially in states especially in states we can transform the armored service requirements and we can drive economic growth of the states and as well as we can also improve the regions associated with the states especially in states like up and tamil nadu they have huge potential so we can come up with this defense industrial corridors in those states so that we can also generate employment opportunities and next one is we can also fulfill our indigenization requirements so we can capture indigenization requirements so which are being set up by ministry of defense and next one is we can also focus on indigenization of manufacturing because already our government came up with this make in india project to focus on indigenization of production so here it will be very much helpful for achieving the goals under this make in india and even we can develop msmes micro small and medium enterprises so while we are promoting acceleration that means outsourcing work to this msmes yes that will also leads to the development of this msmes so msmes are the major employment drivers in our economy so if there is development of this msmes that will also directly leads to increasing of employment opportunities and next one is the make in india initiative which aims to develop about 70 percentage of indigenization of defense sector and we can achieve through this defense corridors and we can also improve employment and skill development yes or no yes right so when we are encouraging skill development and creating the jobs within the state by meeting skill or education standards so here in this way also we can also go on employment development and skill development or employment generation and skill development and next topic it is about kambala a coastal flavor kambala makes a splash in bangalore so this article is very important so if you see context it says that the two day event so it is the first ever two day event of kambala so which is going to be held in bangalore so what is this kambala it is unique sport animal sport which is celebrated in coastal regions of karnataka and finally this kambala which became very much famous because of this movie of kantara okay movie called as kantara of this rishabh shetty so the current edition in bangalore is part to popularize the urban population and they want to promote the breed conservation of this so and so breed of buffalo so we are talking about some facts regarding this kambala so the traditional buffalo it is a traditional buffalo race and kambala is set to take place for first time in bangalore karnataka and this kambala is a buffalo race which is held in which 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 areas that is in the coastal karnataka districts especially in this udupi and as well as dakshina kannada so which is held during the winter months when farmers harvest their paddy crops and actually in this race which is held on two parallel tracks which is filled with mud and as well as water so it will be resembling like rice fields and each pair of buffaloes they will also have a jockey or kambala runner to control and to command the animals on the track to control and to command animals on track they will be the one person called as kambala runner the team that wins qualifies for higher rounds till a champion emerges 
a murder so till one person who wins so till then this charges will be going on in different rounds so apart from winning the race targets also include like splashing water so how much amount of water is splashing whenever they are running so here that is called as kolu okay so these are some important things that you have to remember regarding this kambala i hope it is very clear right so if you have doubts so please let me know your doubts in the comment section and next topic it is about get a flight like feel get a flight like feel on vande bharat trains soon so this article is important from your economy point of view and even from governance point of view also this article is important so now let us see this topic in detail so if you see the context it says that the travel experience on vande bharat trains so the travel experience on vande bharat trains is set to scale is set to scale greater heights with the indian railways rolling out a new scheme to upgrade passenger services so actually now indian railways want to come up with upgrading of passenger services so because of that government came up with this vande bharat trains and they are having the good speed and a part of this initiative to bring about qualitative shift in on board services now recently railways announced to launch a pilot project so name of that project is yatri seva anubandh so name of that project is yatri seva anubandh so it is a pilot project in southern railway covering six pairs of vande bharat express train so they will be taking the six pairs here under this yatri seva anubandh so what are the details so this railway board said that it is a pilot initiative and the import aims or the enhancement so we have to enhance passenger experience in train and we can also provide greater choice in food and beverages and ease of travel okay and even there are some important things they will be also focusing on accessories and as well as travel essentials etc and they want to make experience of people or passengers good and this vande bharat train it is a game changer train for indian railways and with the introduction with the introduction of this project that is ysa yatri seva anubandh so it will be thinking on board services that will be like we can provide world class standards so that we can improve the experience of the passengers and we can attract more people to travel in this railways and the passengers they would have an enjoyable experience compared to that of aviation industry okay for example in hospitality in the quality of food and as well as in travel comfort so they want to beat this airways so here railways they have laid special emphasis on cleanliness and also service provider with a proven track record in catering in housekeeping and also in appointment of implementing of this ysa so in all these areas they are focusing to improve the facilities which they are providing in the railways so here your homework is you have to do some research regarding this what are this vande bharat trains and please let me know what is the speed of this vande bharat train and next topic it is about aditya l1 the title says aditya l1 may enter orbit on january 7th which says isro so what is isro so please let me know some facts regarding isro in comment box don't forget about this okay so now let us see the context so context says that indian space research organization that is isro isro expects its aditya l1 solar probe to enter into orbit around langrejian point l1 on january 7th so on january 7th here isro which is expecting that its probe aditya l1 will enter into orbit so if you see the details it says that one of the five langrejian points or equilibrium points in the sun earth orbit l1 is about 1.5 million kilometers from the earth between the planet and the sun so here it says that we are having langrej points 5 l1 l2 l3 l4 and l5 so here we are having the aim that we have to place this aditya on this l1 so the name is given for that mission is aditya l1 so where it is located this l1 point is about 1.5 million kilometers from the earth 
and it is present between earth and as well as sun i will be showing the exactly the location of this l1 don't worry so we are talking about this mission called as aditya l1 so it is the first space based observatory okay it is the first space based observatory class indian solar mission so it is a first india solar mission and it was launched because to study about sun and the distance here is it need to reach 1.5 million kilometers and it will be taking approximately around 125 days that will be like more than 4 months of time to reach this l1 point and this aditya l1 is also isro's second astronomy observatory class mission after this astrosat after this astrosat it is second astronomy observatory class mission it is also very important and the mission's journey is notably shorter than india's previous mars orbiter mission okay so the mission's journey is shorter than india's previous mars orbiter mission that is mangalyaan mission so the space craft is planned to be placed in halo orbit around this langrejian point l1 of sun earth system so what is the object of this mission so why this mission launched especially to get some insights of sun so what we are going to study exactly so we are going to study about sun's corona photosphere of sun chromosphere and we are going to get some details of solar wind and the important primary objective of this aditya l1 it is to gain a deeper understanding of sun's behavior so we are going to get deeper understanding of sun's behavior so we are going to get details of radiation we we also going to get the details of heat and particle flow and magnetic fields and how they are going to impact the earth so all these things are studied under this aditya l1 mission so these are the important aims and objectives of this mission so now let us see about where this langrage points are located so this is our sun so this is sun it is brightest star right so this is earth so between sun and earth we have l1 and beyond earth in the same line we have l2 and beyond sun we have l3 and from here at 60 degrees angle below and above so we have l4 and l5 okay l1 it is between sun and earth l2 is beyond earth and l3 is beyond sun and at 60 degrees angle so we will be having l4 and l5 So I hope you understand, right? So these are the five language points. So if you want to study sun, so we have to keep those projects, okay, in these five places, so that there will be no influence of sun's gravity and its gravity. Okay, so they will be in the neutral position, so that it will be allow for this proper study of sun. And next topic it is about Antarctica's ozone hole. expands mid spring since 2001 so this article is at most important okay so recently from the images of satellites we found that there is a massive ozone hole which developed over antarctica so because of this this is a news so context says that core that is in the middle of stratospheric layer of antarctic ozone So what happened in mid spring during month of October? So they found twenty six percentage of reduction of ozone since two thousand four. Okay, so this study recently published in journal Nature Communications, and this article says that we have one protocol that is Montreal Protocol. So which is a protocol? So this is Montreal Protocol. It is very important. So the Montreal Protocol designated a list of controlled ozone depleting substances that were banned from the future production 1987. So because of this uh, list of substances which are causing the depletion of ozone, so we have this uh, protocol and said that we have to prohibit them. So if you are prohibiting them, then we can save our ozone. So the past three years, that is from 2020 to 2022. we have witnessed the reemergence of large and long lived ozone holes over antarctica in mid spring while early spring still shows a slight ozone increase 
okay so what happens earlier we found that yes there was like ozone hole but here this ozone hole had been decreased in size but again now there is increasing of size because of ozone depleting substances so what is the meaning of ozone hole ozone hole it is nothing but it is directly hole but there is decreasing of concentration of ozone there that condition is called as ozone hole so ozone hole it is a region of stratosphere over antarctica where the ozone layer is exceptionally depleted that is decreasing of thickness of ozone is seen that is called as ozone hole so ozone hole is not technically a hole where there is no ozone is present but we are saying that the concentration of ozone which is less than 220 dobson units so what is this dobson unit so when we are measuring the amount of ozone so we will be using the unit called as dobson unit if the ozone is less than 220 dobson unit then that is called as ozone hole clear yes now let us move on the size of ozone hole over antarctica which is varies from year to year and typically opening in august and closing by november or december so actually this will open in the in the month of august and by month of november or december then it will be closing so the annual fluctuation is driven by okay so why there is annual fluctuation that means every year while we why we can see this fluctuations because of unique climate conditions over the region so if you see this is antarctica above this we will be having this ozone hole which is represented in blue color so what is the mechanism behind this formation of this ozone hole the first one here is because of earth rotation for example let us take this as globe here we have equator and here we have 90 degrees north and here we have 90 degrees south and we will be having here high pressure regions so in southern hemisphere because of this coriolis force so wind will be moving towards left side and here they will be moving towards right side so here we have 66 and half degrees north and here we have 66 and half degrees south yes or no so because of earth rotation the specific winds generate around the land mass of antarctica here we have polar winds which will be present around this antarctica because of this earth rotation and the polar vortex it is a band of strong winds which is present around poles so around the poles we will be having very strong winds they are called as polar vortex so polar vortex which plays a vital role in ozone hole dynamics so during winter season the polar vortex which forms due to temperature differences and they act as a protective barrier and this protective barrier which keeps air separate from warmer and lower attitude air lower latitude air so this isolation creates a cold environment for polar stratospheric clouds that will trigger ozone depleting reactions so that will leads to free radical reactions so the chemical reactions that occur on the surface of this polar stratospheric clouds they are responsible for the activation of chlorine and as well as bromine compounds and because of this that will causes ozone depletion okay when they are exposed to sunlight they trigger the breakdown of this ozone molecules okay and next here is cause of ozone hole why there is a ozone hole which caused this 2023 especially so first one is do you remember this tonga volcano eruption yes right so here scientists have suspected that substantial ozone hole observed in 2023 because of volcanic eruption in Tonga during December 2022 and January 2023. So between this period is yes, Tonga volcanic explosion that happened and that led to widespread of ash and the con and also conventional volcanic eruptions which are generally released gases confined to lower atmosphere and this eruption propelled a significant amount of water vapor into stratosphere. So and other conventional uh, volcanic eruptions also led. So because of that gases they had been released and those gases they are confined to lower atmosphere and even there is increased at water vapor concentration is also seen. And this water vapor in addition to ozone depleting elements like bromine, iodine and chlorine so they impacted ozone layer through chemical reactions. Okay, so because whenever this water vapor is mixing with this uh, 
chlorofluorocarbons and as well as substances like bromine and as well as iodine so they are also causing the depletion of ozone so actually i want to show you one question which appeared in 2015 it is directly regarding this montreal protocol that is which of the following is associated with the issue of control and phasing out which is talking about issue of control and phasing out of use of ozone depleting substances so first one is bittenwood conference second one is montreal protocol third one is kyoto protocol and fourth one is nayoga protocol so here if you see this protocol this montreal protocol it is talking about directly ozone depleting substances so in environment and in ecology so we will be having lot of conventions some will be talking about uh, mercury some will be talking about uh, transboundary okay transboundary safe, safe movement of uh, substances okay between the countries so everything so and some will be talking about the pops so like that you have to remember which protocol is talking about which thing because there is a direct question can be asked in upsc regarding this okay so this is about this topic and these are the important articles that appeared in our today's hindu newspaper and if you want to get notes of this class so you can join the telegram channel link is given in description box okay so this is the telegram channel rathor's is classes so you can join this telegram channel so that you can download the class notes and this is our rathor's is academy youtube channel so please do subscribe to this channel so that whenever we are posting video you will be getting the notification and this is our website rathor's is academy website so if you have any doubt regarding the syllabus book list downloads so you can visit our website so that you will be getting the data and first of all you have to log in or register so first you have to register with our account and then you can log in with the id and you can see the demo videos that we are offering in rathor's is academy so these are the courses that we are offering if you click on play course three demo videos will be opened and you can check them and this is our mains answer writing course so if you are facing problem of mains answer writing and if you are not having the proper content and if you are not having the good handwriting and you can't write answer within so and so limit of time so you can write this mains answer writing course okay that we are providing in rathod sir and even in rathod sir we are providing the foundational course for upsc csc for 2025 so if you want to clear this upsc without less with very less effort and without taking much strain and without uh, wasting your attempts so join this foundational course okay so that we are offering and the cost of this foundational course is 45000 rupees okay and if you want to pay here so you can pay in okay you can pay uh, with 10% discount in one go okay so this is our foundation course you can join here so if you have any queries regarding the courses so please contact me on this number 8074765513 and one more announcement i want to make here is so we are going to come up with the prelims booster course okay that will be started from first week of december so if you want to join so please contact me on this number on whatsapp or you can directly make a call to me so that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this lecture so if you really like, like this class hit the like button and please do share this video to your friends also and don't forget to subscribe to this rathor's is academy thank you so much for watching